Hello, this is Joel Kirschman. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration of VSS RF Architect or VSS RFA. What is VSS RFA? RFA is a frequency domain simulation engine built into the VSS framework. It consists of two powerful tools, RF Inspector, RFI, a tool used to identify the cause of wanted signals, intermodulation products, and distortion products, and RF Budget, or RFB, a tool to examine the main signal path properties. Uh, VSS RFA can be used at all stages of the architectural design phase. You can use standalone models or C++ renditions of RF device models. Or uh, you can use circuit-based models. Uh, that means VSS is a dependent on a linear simulation or harmonic balance simulation of an actual circuit uh, designed in microwave office. Or you can use file-based models. Uh, file-based models can consist of touch tone data obtained from the laboratory or the frequency dependency of an amplifier. Obviously, you can also obtain such information from manufacturer data sheets. So unlike a traditional uh, spreadsheet, uh, the VSS RFA handles uh, circuit-based models and file-based models. The RF budget tool can be used to uh, calculate cascaded gain, uh, noise figure, IP3, and etc. And uh, the, the RFA tool supports yield analysis optimization inclusive of frequency dependency as well as image noise. Uh, let's take a look at an example in the VSS uh, environment here. We'll start a simulation here and uh, what we're looking at here in this graph is the uh, cascaded noise figure uh, resulting in using a third order image noise rejection filter versus that of using a seventh order image noise rejection filter. And obviously in using the seventh order image noise rejection filter we do get a lower cascaded noise figure. I can now instruct a VSS to optimize on the noise figure of the amplifier here in, in the, the upper link and um, I can say I really want to use a third order image noise rejection filter as opposed to the seventh order and uh, so here when I'm running the optimization routine uh, you can see that the red line moved uh, towards the black line and uh, in short we optimized on the noise figure of this particular uh, amplifier here and uh, indeed VSS said uh, use uh, 2.7 dB for the noise figure as opposed to um, 3 dB the nominal figure that was set. Uh, if we take a look here at RF Inspector, um, here we constructed an RF link that utilizes no filters, hence it's a poor design, and uh, we can run the simulation, and uh, we can look at the resulting spectrum, and clearly we can see the wanted IF signal and the various LO leakage products and distortion products that are generated. Uh, let's once again go into the product and look at an example real time. Uh, you'll note here that I disabled the filter. I can run the simulation, look at the resulting spectrum, highlight that uh, spectrum plot here, and uh, click on one of the uh, products or spurs. And here VSS will show me the heritage of that spur. Double click once again, I get into the heritage window, and I can look at the resulting signals that uh, contributed to that spur being to that particular value. Um, here's an, a clearer uh, image of what happens when you double click on a spur. You can actually get to the device that caused that spur. And uh, in essence, I hope this demonstration showed you that uh, you can use the VSS RFA tool uh, to avoid over-specifying components and in effect uh, catch design floors before it's too late. Uh, once again, this is Joel Kirschman, and if you would look forward to learning more about VSS, you can watch our v demos on demand. Um, capture on our web link. Uh, thank you again, and bye-bye. Uh,